In this video, we will examine an HTML document, create a Java Maven project, using which we will convert an HTML document to PDF format. Here I have Spring Tool Suite open. Let me click on File, New Project, and from under Maven, choose Maven Project. Click Next, click Next. In the filter, type org.apache.maven and choose Maven Archetype Quick Start. Click Next. For the group ID, add com.demo. For the artifact ID, type HTML to PDF and then click Finish. Expand the project and click on pom.xml. Here are the dependencies and plugins which come automatically as a part of the Maven archetype quick start. Let me paste two more dependencies here. Let me format them for better readability. So I have added a dependency for org.jsoup and the other one for flying saucer PDF open PDF. Let me expand the packages and click on app.java. Here is a simple class with hello world. First, let's examine the HTML file we want to convert. So going to the file explorer in the home documents HTML to PDF folder, we have a few files. Let's open the test.html file which we want to convert to PDF. As you can see, it is a simple HTML file which has some headers, a paragraph element, a hyperlink, an image, so the kind of elements you will see in an HTML file. Let's open this file with a text editor. And we see its structure. It refers to a style sheet, style.css, has a heading, a para, here is the hyperlink, here is an image referenced. Let me open the style sheet, style.css. It's a very simple style sheet. I just wanted to focus on the PDF conversion and want to keep the HTML file and the style sheet simple. It should work for complex style sheets and HTML files too. Here is the image it is referring. All right, back to our app.java file. Let me remove the system out print line. First, let's create a file variable pointing to our HTML file. Import the packages. Next, create a variable of jsoup document type by using jsoup.parse and passing in our HTML file and giving its encoding UTF-8. Import the jsoup document. It throws an exception, so let's add the throws clause. Next, let's do doc.outputsettings.syntax as document.outputsettings.syntax.xml. Now, let's create a try with resources block where we add try output stream os as new file output stream as home slash demo slash documents slash html to pdf slash output.pdf file the path and name of our output file. Let's import the packages. Let me correct the type and put the right brace here. Next, let's create a variable of type iText renderer, renderer as new iText renderer, shared context context as renderer dot get shared context, context dot set print is set to true, context dot set interactive is set to false. We can do other things also like registering different fonts, adjusting for page size, etc. String base URL as file systems dot get default dot get path and the path to where our HTML file and style sheet is lying in the file system to URI to URL to string. Now let's call renderer dot get document from string passing in doc dot HTML file and base URL referring to the path where it is in the file system. Call renderer dot layout Renderer dot create PDF passing the name of the output stream which points to our output PDF file. 
This command will convert the HTML document to the PDF document. Let's do system.out.print line and print done. Let's right click and run as Java application. We see an error. That's because our input test.html file does not have the right extension. Let me remove the slash and put a dot. Let me clear the console and run it again. And it is done successfully. Going to the file system, here we see our output.pdf file. And here we see the PDF rendering of our HTML document with the headers, link, image, etc. So this is how simple it is. In this video, we started off with a new Maven project, included the JSOUP and OpenPDF dependencies, saw and put HTML file and its components, and finally, we converted the HTML file to a PDF document. Thanks for watching.